Hi there Jeep owners. Today in your 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install WeatherTech's bug deflector. This bug deflector is going to protect your hood from bugs, rocks, and other debris that can bounce up off the road or just be passing by like bugs do, and it's going to keep them from getting on your paint. That's going to help extend the life of the paint here at the front of the vehicle, removing a lot of chips and unnecessary damage that you get just from driving your vehicle normally every day because there's particles and a lot of things out there in the air and you're hitting them all day long. Having this here is going to keep a lot of that off the front of the hood and the aerodynamics of it, you can kind of see how it goes up and over, helps create a lift over the hood so that way that dirt gets directed up and over the windshield and off the back of your car which also helps protect the entirety of our hood. It's constructed of a very strong almost indestructible plastic that flexes with the wind. It has a lot of flexibility to it. And some people might think, oh, it's flexible, that's cheap. That's actually perfect for this scenario because if something larger were to come up, maybe a bigger rock, it's gonna hit this, it's gonna flex, it's gonna bounce off, and it's not gonna cause really any damage to anything. So that's gonna keep this in long lasting order for many years to come. And to keep it from detracting from the looks of the vehicle, and almost give it a more aggressive look. It's got a nice glossy black finish across the whole thing. It's almost like a semi-see-through plastic material. It is really sleek looking once you've got it on there. This is a custom fit deflector designed for your Jeep. All the holes and everything line up with existing holes. There's only one spot where you have to add a machine screw. All the hardware comes included with your kit. So why don't you follow along with me and we'll get it installed together so you can have the confidence to do it at home. We'll begin our installation by opening our hood and then we can take our bug deflector and we're just going to kind of hold it up there just to make sure everything's going to line up and see where our hardware goes. So if we just kind of hold it up here like this and you can see here that the ones over here on our passenger side are going to line up with pre-existing holes. Over on our driver side over here we'll be using a machine screw for this one and the last hole down here on the end we have an included bracket that's going to slide on the hood. We just wanted to get an idea of where everything's going to go and now we're going to put this bracket on. The hole here on the end, here's our bracket. We're going to take the machine screw that comes in our kit and slide the black washer on it. We're going to drop that screw down through the hole. And then here on the other side, we're going to attach it to our bracket. So we're just going to grab our bracket, slide it on there, and then just twist the screw into it. And then we can use a Phillips screwdriver to finish tightening it down. We don't need to go crazy tight. We don't want to over tighten it. It is just a plastic panel there. So once you got it snug, you're good to go. And we're going to again line up the holes here on the one side. And we're just lining these holes up because we need these holes to be in their position. Then we want to see where our bracket's going to be over here. So our bracket lines up right about at the end here where it, where it gets a little bit thinner. And it's important that we know that exact location where this is gonna slide on. We see right there. So it's right here at this seam about where, where it gets a little bit thinner. That's where our bracket's gonna slide over the hood. But we don't wanna slide it over the hood as it is right now because that'll cause some scratches to our paint finish. What we're gonna do is there's a protective film that comes in our kit. We're gonna be putting it over that spot, but it's not a very big piece of film, so that's why we wanted to hold it up there to make sure we get it right the first time. Now we're just gonna use a little bit of alcohol to clean off the surface to ensure that our protective film has good adhesion. So we're just gonna get that cleaned up real quick. We can then peel off the adhesive backing and we're gonna line it up on our hood right at that location. We're just gonna put that into place and slide that up into place. Try to get it as smooth as you can there. Now with our film in place, we can put our panel back to how we were before, except this time we're gonna take that bracket and we're gonna slide it right over that film. I'll just push in place. Then we can head over to the holes here that line up. We're just gonna push the push pins in that come included with our kit and then you can just tighten down the center pin to hold it in place. It's got a little Phillips head on there. It is just a plastic screw. 
So you don't want to over tighten this one either. Just get it till it's down and flush in this little seat there. You can kind of see it's got a seat. Sometimes when you're tightening it, you got to hold the base because it doesn't want to tighten into it. The whole thing wants to spin. And we're just going to move down to the next one and repeat that for all the remaining holes. There's two more here. And then this last one here that doesn't line up with the hole, we're going to use the machine screw that comes in our kit. We slid the white washer over this one and we're just going to use our Phillips bit here on our gun to just run it right up into the sheet metal. So when I went to put that machine screw in, I did actually have some pretty hard time getting it to go through the metal. So we're going to make a small pilot hole with a 16th inch drill bit just to make it a little bit easier. Just want to be careful when drilling through this because we don't want to go all the way through the hood. Just through this first layer right here. So just go slow and take your time drilling through it with that pilot hole. Now that we've got a small pilot hole, it should go in much easier. Now that everything's secure here, we can go ahead and shut our hood. Now at each of the flex points on our bug shield, we do have a little rubber bumper that we can put in place. Here on the corner, you can see it potentially could flex and rub against our fender right there. So we're just going to use some alcohol once again to clean up that area. We're going to peel back one of the little rubber bumpers and then we're just going to get an idea of where that is place our rubber bumper there and now we're not going to have any contact between our bug deflector and our vehicle. We're going to do the same point a little bit further in at this point here so we're just going to clean that up. Once again we're going to peel off another one get an idea of where that spot is. It's about right there so we just poke it in place and we see that it's hitting. So we're just going to do the same thing here over on the other side. And that completes our installation of WeatherTech's bug deflector on our 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee.